Quarterback two, Jalen Hurts, who, interestingly enough, I mean, he's my quarterback two last year. I have him as my quarterback one this year. Wyatt, what what is it for you that has him not at number one? I think Justin Fields has a little bit wider range of outcomes than most people are willing to admit. Um, someone can fact check me on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm pos- uh, right when I say this, but Jalen Hurts is the only QB to have 10 or more rushing touchdowns two years in a row. Um, he had 13 last year. That number could easily come down. Now I understand like the tush push was basically undefeated last year. Those chances like variants could just be on the wrong side of the Eagles on, on, you know, plays at the two one or one yard line. And they just might not have as many of those. Uh, The running backs could just have more um, touchdowns this year than they did last year. I, I would, go as far to say that I think the running back room is better than it was last year, despite how well Miles Sanders played for them last year. Um, so I do think like there is this chance also, also like they're, I believe still far and away the best team in the NFC. And part of their thing last year was that like their starters didn't really play in the second half of games as much or like it was they mostly just pounded the ball because they were up by so much that could happen again. Uh, there, there's, along with this, the range of outcomes where they're in competitive games every week and Jalen Hurst has to throw a lot more and his passing touchdown rate goes up. I have to admit, like, that, that's fully in the range of capability or, you know, range of outcomes there. So it's just that I'm more confident in the range for Mahomes and Allen than I am Hurts, despite Hurts showing us the ceiling that he had last year and it possibly not being the actual ceiling for him. Uh, But I just also think that like the floor is probably slightly lower than people are willing to admit. Not that that floor is low, just that it's lower than uh, maybe people realize. Where there is, I do think you can absolutely make that argument. I mean, the flip side to that is, well, if they're in games a little bit more this year and he's playing full games, he might need to pass the ball a little bit more, which could lead to more opportunities, not just in total passing volume. But again, if he just continues to be the main guy in the red zone, let's say you're Rashad Penny, you brought in the last segment, you said might be the only player you actually label in the NFL as injury prone. If he gets injured, what do they have in the running back room? DeAndre Swift has been able to sell his his entire career. If we find ourselves mid-season with, I'm not projecting it this way, I'm just painting another picture, with Kenneth Gamewell and Boston Scott and Trey Sermon as your three backs in the room, it could just be the tush push again. I mean, with players like Josh Allen, of course, slightly lower, because as you mentioned, yes, the only quarterback with double-digit touchdowns back-to-back seasons, but with Josh Allen, when he had you know six and then eight and then seven, people are like, well, that's unsustainable. That's going to come down at some point. And it hasn't yet. We said the same thing. Cam Newton ha- was having numbers similar to Josh Allen. Well, that's got to come down. It didn't. So one thing with Jalen Hurts is that I I mean, I haven't projected for like nine more on the ground again this year. I know it's not over 10. It's 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 under that Vegas line, which is actually shocking. It was at nine and a half. I don't know if it's still there, but early in the offseason it was. Um, so if he gives us, even if he gives us six or seven, I think the trade-off we could have there could potentially also go into the ground. A.J. Brown, his lead target, it's one of the best red zone weapons in the entire league. And if they connect in a way that we've seen other accurate quarterbacks connect with big time playmakers go up and get it guys, physical wide receivers in the past, you could end up with more overall passing touchdowns as well for Jalen Hurts. He only had 22 passing touchdowns last year, which when you compare to players like Patrick Mahomes or, you know, other, or even Josh Allen, who have 10, 20 more touchdowns than J- Jalen Hurts, I absolutely see room for that to go up. He showed us last year that he's a very accurate passer, over 66% completion rate, and he got his interceptions way down, 1.3%. Now, I think that interception rate, especially if they throw the ball more, they have a stronger uh, – they're going against tougher opponents this year. They had one of the softest schedules in the NFL last year. Those first 10 games uh, almost – guaranteed them like a 10 and 0 type schedule was really tough to lose early on um that could come up but at the same time if he maintains a similar accuracy which i think is absolutely doable with the way they're doing they were he was at uh eight yards per attempt 
12 yards per completion and still threw 66.5% accuracy. I mean, even if those numbers have to come down a little bit, I think the accuracy absolutely stays. Jalen Hurts has taken that next step, that next level. He's got all the playmakers around him if they're healthy. 4.8% touchdown rate. We just talked about Lamar Jackson having a 9% season. We've seen Aaron Rodgers on his MVP seasons be at 8%. We see Patrick Mahomes routinely at 6%. We see all these other quarterbacks that we're regarding as elite, even a Joe Burrows we just talked about, at that Justin Herbert are closer to that 4 or 5%. Well, Jalen Hurts has been under 5% last season. He did take a big jump. He was at 4% as a rookie, just under 4% as a sophomore. Did take that leap up just under five last year. But if that even goes up into the fives, I think we could be seeing an even higher ceiling from Jalen Hurts. I can't recall in recent memory a quarterback who gives you potentially 750 to 1,000 yards on the ground. He's got double-digit rushing touchdown upside. And he has room to go up in the passing touchdown. He could give us 25 to 30 or even a big season that could potentially go higher. I don't know if we've seen an accurate quarterback who has the same rushing upside as we get with Jalen Hurts. I think he could absolutely break fantasy football. His current ADP where he goes, uh, I think he could absolutely smash. I mean, that's at player 25, so you do have to spend a third-round pick. I'm more than comfortable taking him a third-round pick. Some leagues where you are playing for maybe higher stakes and you want to get those absolute difference makers, I'm comfortable taking Jalen Hurts even at the very back of the second round. So him going early third, I'm all here for it. Anytime on underdog, again, use code JWB. You'll see and why it's up right corner for a deposit match up to $100 for first time depositors. On underdog, if I get into the third round and Jalen Hurts is there, auto pick, auto pick. I, I mean, I think when we talk about the range of outcomes, yes, it could come down slightly, but I still think that gives you a top five season from a quarterback. And that's why we draft him so high. He's just so safe. I, I don't really see a world if healthy he finishes outside of that top half of quarterback ones. And then I legitimately believe that he has a ceiling no other quarterback at this moment in time has in terms of total fantasy points. We could You could argue Lamar Jackson if you replicated that 2019. But as we talked, if you go back, look at the Clips catalog we have, I do have a section on our Dynasty Clips catalog that has redraft. So all these, these players that we've talked about in all of our ranking videos, if you want to click in there, go find our take on those players. You can, you go back either in the full video or go into the catalog and find our Lamar Jackson take where we talked about where we expect him and how we could have that ceiling and why we don't think 2019 is really there. I think Jalen Hurts could do something rather similar, which other than maybe you could argue Lamar Jackson, I don't think Mahomes or Allen necessarily do that without 40 plus touchdown seasons. I do have to say Jalen Hurts is the, the QB one in my projections that came out. So maybe I'm being a little bit of a coward, but I just at this time feel a little bit better about the range for uh, Allen and Mahomes. Yeah. 